Hi guys, welcome to my top five Sega CD uh, uh, video or Mega CD if you're over in uh, PAL territories. A uh, bit of an odd change in the name there. I suppose they thought it was cool just sticking to the Mega Drive uh, front. And of course, as always, this is uh, my personal choice uh, uh, of what's available for the system. As always, people's opinions will differ. There's actually, a, even though it was an unpopular system at the time, uh, and it didn't quite work out for Sega. There's actually a hell of a lot of good games if you dig into that library. It's still one of my favourite uh, CD consoles. It's only just beat to the pit by the, the the PC Engine or the Turbo Graphics CD. But that's just because they, you know, Hudson got they got that system. They got what CD games were about. Sega didn't really. It was an odd one. Anyway, there was no time for that. Uh, let's just, just jump straight into them, but uh, at number five, uh, this is actually one I've completed properly for the first time in years, and it's uh, Shining Force CD. It's your usual uh, standard RPG fare, but it's got a fairly decent story. Uh, uh, the translation's okay, there's nothing dodgy about it. Uh, the battle system's quite entertaining, it's still good to go back to to this day. Uh, there aren't very. In fact, there's not any. There's only there's only a couple of RPGs uh, on the console. I think Luffy, Luffia, Luffia is one of the other. Oh, sorry, is it Luna Star? I'm going off on one. Uh, uh, they're all okay. Quite in fact, uh, the Luna one, Silver Star, is actually quite a good game. But Shining Force, with its battle system and 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 the way you interact with the world and the adventure there. It's just better. <laughs> I just enjoy that one more. So yeah, that's why it's at the top top ones on my list. Uh, number four, uh, there's not much to be said about the whole real life, uh, I suppose they were quick action style games at the time. There was a fair few of them on the uh, the Mega CD but it, it just generally didn't work out but one in particular uh, is Road Avenger which to this day looks awesome because it's a cartoon uh, and it basically is, it's like it's, it's Dragon's Lair basically but but with, with a car uh, it's awesome it's funny uh, once you remember it's actually fairly tough to memorize everything and it can take a fair few playthroughs to get it all just right but once you do and just even just if you go back and watch a video of it being played it's actually a really entertaining story and it's actually quite challenging so I still and the music's great. I saying it still looks good. I mean, the video's not too bad for the uh, for the CD at the time, so I'd recommend it. It's well worth going back to. Uh, number three, this is quite an easy one. It's, it's quite low considering I'm saying that, but uh, it's Snatcher. But I mean, I only played it recently uh, in the last five years. I had an awesome time with it. There's just it's, it's um, oh Hideo K Kojima. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's behind it. It's one of his early games, and the story's fantastic. It's all Blade Runner and, and noir and all that future tech, and there's robots in it and androids and stuff. But it's got a really, really good story. It's like your typical anime sci-fi style as well. But it's it, it all works together. The characters are great. Now I played the obviously the the Sega CD edition, which is translated. It's, it's rare as buggery. But it still stands up to this day. I had a lot of fun with it. There's moments in it where you have to use the cursor to shoot things. Not very many. You can actually use the light gun there. Oh, the menacer gun for them, I believe. But yeah, that's a bit clunky. But they're not too difficult. So you can. There's not many of them either. So you can just snatch through. But yeah, it's a great game. Still stands up to this day and well worth going back. I don't know. It's never been. It never probably get released now because he's left, hasn't he? Uh, Konami and they've given up on games. Anyway, let's go on to uh, number two. Now, this is a, a, a tough one because it's one I'd, I played back in the day because I, I knew someone who had a, an import Sega CD and I, I dabbled in it but didn't get it at the time. And it wasn't until many, many years later I could appreciate it. And it's Pop Full Mail. It's basically, it's a bit like Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Uh, you know, it's a, an action adventure platform with a bit of RPG elements all mixed in at once. but. The original game, I don't think, is very good. But I mean, it's okay as a as a platformer. But when the, I can't remember the name, the, I've forgotten the name of the company. But they're famous for the uh, translations, and it's absolutely the, the voice actors sound like they're having a whale of a time. And 
they've all changed the original script and the story slightly and added a more comedic element and it stands up very well and it's still very funny to go back to and play to this day so yeah that, that definitely belongs up there uh, and then finally uh, what can I say about this one? Number one is a Final Fight CD, and, and I could have chosen a lot of other games, but I love Final Fight on the SNES. I loved it to bits, and it, it was as a kid, I mean, but it was broken. You know, they, they broke it apart and split, or got rid of the characters and stuff, and it was very, very poor. But it still played fantastically well on the console because I played it to death and I really enjoyed it. But um, Final Fight CD, it might as well just be the arcade game. It's perfect. It's just ported perfectly. It looks graphically amazing. The music is spot on because it comes off CD. Then there's all the extras on it. And it's just a bloody good uh, scrolling beat em up. I mean, it's probably the, the ideal sort of game after Double Dragon. And, and I mean, that's another one I'd, I'd just love to bet. But fi Final, Final Fight CD is up there with your likes of Streets of Rage and stuff like that. And I know Streets of Rage did appear on the, the Sega CD, but only on a compilation disc, I believe, and it was only the first one. Uh, so, yeah, which is a bit sad. But Final Fight CD is where it's at. I mean, again, it's pretty expensive and, and, and getting a bit rare, but if you can pick it up, by all means do, because you'll have a whale of a time. Anyway guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe below. And like I said, there's a lot of videos in the Sega CD, it's videos. A lot of games in the Sega CD catalogue. It's been probably impossible. To, everyone always calls it a really bad test, but it's not. If you look into it and look at the library, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So it's well worth checking out. Till next time guys.